everybody, how you doing? I am working on explaining to you <laughs> the head wound, the grievous head wound in the Bible about the Antichrist. <laughs> Trump, what is going on with Mr. Trump, our president of these here United States of America? Grievous head wound that produces a plague on the society that is confronted by it. Do we mean a literal head wound? Or do we mean dementia? That's a head wound. That certainly is a head wound. Mr. Trump, you are causing too much chaos. I do not like that you idolize Nixon. I do not like how chummy you are with dictators. You need to stop it. You need to stop it, Mr. President. You need to stop it. You're not helping us. You are the head wound because you're acting like a wild animal. You are not behaving as a head of state. And I need you to stop it, Mr. President. We're going to pray for you, Mr. President. Yes, we are. We are going to pray for the President of the United States of America. Are you ready? It's Passover this weekend. Resurrection Sunday. Mr. President, Jesus rebukes you. You are supposed to be the leader of this extremely powerful nation, leading us towards righteousness, not destruction. King Jesus, this man, Donald Trump, what do you want to do with him? It is the prayer of Yahweh to speak the words of the Father through his messengers. What does our Father have to say about you, Donald? What does King Jesus have to say about you, Mr. Donald Trump? That's what a prophecy is. You speak the words of the eternal, not my personal preference, not the popular theme, but what does Jesus want? What does our deity want? What does the master of the universe want? Whatever he wants with you, Mr. Trump, let it happen. He knows the deepest parts of your soul. He knows you from before you were born. Guess what? What do you want with this man? Do you want him cut down? Or do you want him lifted up? Do it. Holy Spirit, catch this man. What Jesus wants, Jesus will have. Come, either you are cut off or you are resurrected. May this weekend bring you the blessings of the Holy Spirit. Be blessed in the name, above all names. Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Yeshua, Christ Jesus. Chop this man down or heal him and lift him up. Your will, Holy Father, what you want, King Jesus, but do it now. This man, cut him off, or fix him and raise him up. Do not let him ride as he is, one way or another. It's up to Jesus. Why? There's a commandment, a mitzvah to me, thou shalt not kill. Thou, you, who are you? You are the weakest vessel. Jesus is not the weaker vessel. He is the king. And the king's decree is what counts. Yeshua, what do you want for this man? A blessing or a cursing? Carry out, Holy Father, in our hour. This hour, King Jesus. Show us what you want for this man. Cut him down or fix him and lift him up. Amen. Share that.
with your friends and family, especially if you count yourself a Christian. We're supposed to pray for our leaders. There you go. You didn't know what to pray for them? There you go. I did it for you. Amen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you adieu. Shabbat Shalom. It's Friday. It's Passover Seder tonight. Tell the spirit of Eliyahu to come in, the spirit of Elijah. Jehovah is my God, his spirit. Come in, come in. Go to the front door as a child in your heart from that point of innocence and let the spirit of God in. Tonight is your opportunity. Once a year, Passover Seder is a special night. Our steps are ordered. Our steps are ordered. Baruch. Ah, Adonai. Woo! Something like that. Forgive me if I don't pronounce Hebrew correctly. I'm a Gentile. I'm doing my best. Ah!